Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dolany TV. I'm Tyson Dolany, ready to get you into that NHL All-Star action that we got coming our way in January. Let me get the actual date because for some reason after reading the press release, it is escaping me, but we'll be talking more about that in a second. January 24th is the skills competition, and then the 2020 Honda NHL All-Star Game is on Saturday, January 25th. So, you know what? Realistically, we're not that far away from then. We're not even, we're less than two months away from the All-Star Game. So with that, that's what the NHL has done. They have gone out and, well, released the, well, um, 2020 NHL All-Star Fan Vote. Sorry. What I just read is the release underneath it. For the first time, players with the most Twitter and Instagram engagement to, to receive $50,000 in charitable donations. So that what, that's what I need to tell you, is we've got three guys, and of course they've got the uh, cast a ballot for other guys as well, but we've got three guys that could potentially be captains for us just listed on the NHL.com fan vote website, that being Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisettle, and Mike Smith. Now, Mike Smith might seem like a weird one to you if you're not uh, familiar with the whole All-Star Game shenanigans. Mike Smith has done very, very well at All-Stars in All-Star Games in his career, of course, going back to with Arizona over his career everywhere else. So it'll be interesting to see what Mike Smith's uh, vote totals for captain of the Pacific Division comes out to. So let's get into this. I'll kind of list off what we're looking at here at the NHL vote website. It's nhl.com slash all-star dash star or slash all dash star dash ballot. And that's all you need to know. So the the vote for division captains. Select one player to represent their division in the 2020 NHL All-Star Fan Vote presented by Adidas. Vote goes through December 20th. Each ballot you submit, maximum of 10 ballots per 24 hours, earns you a chance to win a trip to the 2020 All-Star Game January 25th to 24th in St. Louis. There's official rules that you do have to view. So each team, by the looks of it, in the Pacific Division gets a total of three captains to choose from. So that's interesting right there. Every single team has three captains you can choose from. And ours, as mentioned, are Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisettle, and Mike Smith. So it's a, it's a weird contest, right? Because obviously, yeah, you know what? I don't think Mike Smith is anywhere remotely close to winning that one at all. But then you've got Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisettle up against some of the best guys in the Pacific Division, right? You've got Matthew Kachuk. You've got a guy like Darcy Kemper, who we've seen what he's capable of, even though we beat him. Um, where else in the Pacific? Trying to look for guys with outstanding stats, right? Drew Doughty, Andre Kopitar. Then you've got, really, nobody in the Pacific lighting it up. Elias Pettersson, that's... Probably going to be the toughest competition. Honestly, Elias Pettersson and Mark Stone are probably going to be the two toughest competitors in the Pacific Division. Matthew Kachuk, maybe throw him in there to have three as well. Four guys like Leon Dreisettle and Connor McDavid. However, guys, we have rocked this vote how many ever times before, and we need to do it again. we got to send our guys to the All-Star Game and get them going, so... The only question I really have to ask myself, and this is more the debate for the video, this is the reason for the video, is it's a tough choice. Who do you vote? I know Mike Smith's kind of the, right, if you, you, if you have to have three choices, who do you remove immediately? Mike Smith. Now, you've got Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisettle. Well, <laughs> pardon me, we've already had this debate, ladies and gentlemen, as for who wins the MVP but this debate is a little bit easier to decide, I think, because of kind of the way it plays out, right? Is we've seen Connor McDavid as the Pacific Division captain a couple of times already. And eh, you know what? It kind of gets old. And I don't think too many of us Oilers fans would complain too, too much if Leon Dreisettle had a jersey with a C on it. Because, guys, realistically, dry settle. you know what, there was some questions going into the season. I did a video on it prior to the season starting about how Leon Drysaddle was going to become a much bigger leader on this team this season. And, well, he got the A, and all of a sudden, here we're sitting with... 
Leon Dreisettel in contention to be an all-star captain. And with that comes a lot of added responsibility to make in a good weekend. But at the same rate, it's kind of that honorary C which says, hey, this guy is capable of being a quality leader. And not, not necessarily saying that an all-star captain means the best captain in the NHL or even remotely clo close to captain material for a team in the NHL. What I'm saying is, you know what, that's the guy who faces everything for the weekend, right? That's the face of a division for a weekend. And we've seen Connor McDavid, guys, there is no better choice in the entire Pacific Division than Connor McDavid, but we've already seen that. And that, that's my argument here, is we've already seen Connor McDavid as a captain before, and just to be able to go out there and throw out Leon Dreisettle with a C on his jersey and say, ha ha, look at that, uh, it wasn't Connor McDavid, it's Leon Dreisettle this year, and it's totally awesome to be able to think that that is a possibility for a guy who, at this time last year, a lot of Oilers fans might have said his contract is an overpayment. And you know what? A lot of people around the NHL would have definitely told you this time last year that Leon Dreisettle's contract is an overpayment. Then we got him into the All-Star game. Then he finished with 50 goals. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Leon Dreisettle has 16 goals and 32 assists for 48 points in a total of 27 games. Connor McDavid has 47 points at this point. So that's, that's craziness to think that you know what, Connor McDavid's having an incredible odds-on best season in the NHL we've seen in a while next to Kucherov's. But here we go, Leon Dreisettle's a tad bit better. So that's, that's the fun of this. And that's another point, is the fun of this. Realistically, right, we, we as Oilers fans... We've, we've had some tough times, but we've also been able to have our fun with Drysaddle McDavid doing crazy things and all, all the speculation. Uh, there's a lot of fun to be had watching, covering, talking, enjoying the NHL. And this is one of those fun moments for us as Oilers fans that we get to enjoy, right? Connor McDavid not wearing a C. No, it's Leon Drysaddle. That would be a lot of fun. And obviously, what do you think? Connor McDavid's not going to have an A. Of course he'll have an A if Leon's the captain. So that's just the way it is. But you look at this, right? It's a fun chance to enjoy something different, have a little bit of a different look for us at the All-Star game, right? You know, those All-Star jerseys, they're going to be weird, wacky, wonderful from Adidas. And it's going to feature a Leon Dreisettle C. But only if you get your vote in at NHL.com slash vote or slash all star dash star or all dash star dash ballot and guys realistically if you want to have fun with it i know john scott's been an all-star captain before you can search for more players heck i almost voted for oscar cluffbaum just for the heck of it throw in a vote why not right so there's a there's a lot of fun to be had with this all-star captain voting and stuff so i i realistically i'm if you haven't listened for the past eight minutes, I am heavily leaning my votes, whatever votes I can remember to get in this year, towards Leon Dreisettle, just for the fun of it. That's that's the point of this video. I, it's pretty much a hear me out, I'm voting for Leon Dreisettle just for the fun of it. And why not? It's the all-star game. It is for the fun of the game, the love of the game, the enjoyment of the game, and to bring together the best players in the NHL for a weekend to celebrate the game and the season. Guys, that's going to do it for me, but what I want to do before I head on out of here is kind of ask you, right, straight up, I'll, I'll list each of the division captains possible. So it goes Ryan Getzlav, John Gibson, Jakob Zilverberg, Oliver ekman Larson, Clayton Keller, Darcy Kemper, Johnny Gaudreau, Mark Giordano, Matthew Kachuk, Drysaddle McDavid-Smith, Doughty, Kopitar, Quick, Brent Burns, Logan Couture, Evander Kane, Brock Besser, Bo Horvat, Elias Pettersson, Marc-Andre Fleury, William Carlson, Mark Stone. So you gotta ask yourself. You gotta ask yourself here. Like I said, there's only a couple of names on there that can really throw anything into the mix for our guys, being Kachuk, Pedersen, Kemper, maybe somebody out of San Jose if they get it going. But 
realistically, guys, it's a shoe-in that Drysaddle and McDavid will be the Pacific Division captain if we mobilize. Now, for the fun of it, Leon Drysaddle, Connor McDavid, because, well, he's Connor McDavid. Guys, that's the hard choice I'm asking you to make. I want the debate in the comments section. Is the argument clear for the fun of it? Vote Leon Drysaddle. Or is it clear that Connor McDavid has just got to be captain because that's what he is here. That's what it is. That's straight rules. We don't mess around with that. Go Connor. Let me know in the comments. I'm Tyson Dolan on TV. I will catch you, as always, in the next one.